In this video, we are going to focus on two English consonant sounds, the sounds th and z, so the th sound and the z sound. I know they sound very similar, but they are actually quite different and they are very important sounds in English. So I want you to be able to pronounce them correctly. Let's take two example words. The first word I have is the word then. Can you hear the th sound? Then. The second word is zen. Can you hear the sound z? Zen. So then and zen. I know this may sound complicated because they sound similar, but they are different, guys. And if you practice with me, by the end of this video, you will be able to pronounce them. So let's get started. Before we learn about the consonant sounds th, th, and z, z in English, you should always know about the IPA spelling, guys. This is very useful. And you can also watch how I move my mouth. And please always try to repeat after me. It's very important. You can do it. Let's do it together. Let's first learn how to produce the TH sound in English. But this TH is voiced. So you are going to use your voice. You're going to use, um, you're going to feel a vibration in your throat. Okay. And what you're going to do is you're going to put your tongue between your teeth and you're not going to push out some air. What you're going to do is you're going to create a vibration with your tongue. So your tongue has to vibrate. Okay. Please watch my mouth and repeat after me. Let's practice with the word then. Please repeat after me. Then. 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 Good. Let's now move on to the z sound. So this is voiced. You are going to use your voice and feel a vibration in your throat. You're going to put your tongue against your bottom teeth and you're going to make it vibrate. Use your tongue. Just make a sound. So, z. Okay? Please repeat after me. Z. 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 Let's practice with the word zen. Please repeat after me. Zen. 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 Good. Let's now practice with minimal pairs. These words that have very similar sounds, but they are quite different actually. And they're very good if you really want to hear the difference. But first, let's focus on the sounds. Please watch how I move my mouth and repeat after me. First, the th sound. Th. 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 And now the z sound. Please repeat after me. Z. 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 Let's now do both. Repeat after me, guys. V. Z. V. Z. 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 Let's now practice with our words. Please repeat after me. Then. 
then, 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 then. Excellent, guys. Well, guys, it's now time to go through minimal pairs together. Please watch how I move my mouth and repeat after me. Let's go. Bathe. Bathe. Breathe. Breeze. Clothe. Close. Clothing. Closing. Lathe. Laze. Loathe. Lows. Scythe. Size. Seethe. Seize. Sheathe. She's. Soothe. Soothe. Then. Zen. With. Whiz. Excellent, guys. Okay, guys, let's now practice with sentences containing these consonant sounds. The first sentence. Sue's voice soothes me. Please repeat after me. Sue's voice soothes me. And finally, the clothing store is closing. Please repeat after me. The clothing store is closing. Good job. Let's move on. Let's now move on to listening practice. I'm now going to show you two words. I will say one of the two words and I want you to listen very carefully and to tell me if this word is A or B. Let's get started. Let's start with our first two words. Now, which one do I say? Word A or word B? Listen. Whiz. One more time. Whiz. Is it A or is it B? It's B, guys. Whiz. A is with. Listen to me. Lathe. Lathe. It's A, guys. Lathe. B is lays. Scythe. Scythe. It's A. Scythe. B is size. Lows. Lows. Answer B is correct. Lows. A is loathe. Close. Close. B, of course, close. A is clothe. Listen to me, guys. Soothe. Soothe. It's answer A, soothe. B is pronounced soothe. Teasing. Teasing. It's B, teasing. A is teething. Breeze. Breeze. Which one is it? It's B, breeze. A is breathe. Listen to me very carefully. Closing. Closing. It's B, closing. 
A is clothing. And finally, sheath. Sheath. Of course, guys, it's A sheath. B would be she's. Great practice, guys! You now have a better understanding of the two consonant sounds th and z in English. Keep practicing. It takes a lot of practice to be able to master these sounds, but you can do it. So keep practicing. Train your ear as well to hear the different sounds in English. And obviously, watch my other pronunciation videos. I promise you they will help you improve your skills. See you next time.